Welcome to this video on Research Data Management from the Department of Engineering Library, University of Cambridge. So, you're collecting data or reusing existing data. But how will you organise, store and manage it? This video should help you get a sense of the basics of research data management and prepare you to create your own data management plan. We're going to look at questions like, what is data anyway? What issues do you need to think about? How can you organise your data? Where will you store it and how can you share it? And how do you begin planning all this? Much like with the life cycle of your research, from idea to thesis, publication and beyond, your research data has a life cycle too, including data collection, analysis, storing and backing up, sharing and reuse. Data management is the process of creating a system of care before, during and after a research project. Good data management helps to make sure your data are well organised, documented, stored and accessible, which is important both for you as a researcher and for future reproducibility. Whether you're creating your own data or reusing existing data, there are similar issues you need to think about, including data standards and descriptions, the metadata or data about your data that helps people to make sense of your raw data, what you need to capture and store, how it is shared, version control and ethical responsibility. Most often you will organise your data using some sort of filing system. Take a look at the two project folders on this slide. Which one looks more organised to you? B seems like it has been planned out, while A seems quite random. How you organise your files at the start of a research project will shape how they grow and develop, and whether they will stay organised over time. Think about organising your files in a way that makes sense to you now and will continue to make sense to you six months or a year later. You can follow a similar structure to B on this slide or create your own. Make any file names consistent and meaningful to you and to anyone else who may need to access them so that when you come back to them in future you can see at a glance what each file is. You can use dates and version numbers to keep track of what version a file is or if you need more support for version control, you can use services like GitHub. If you're working as part of a research group, it's important that everyone in the group use the same file naming convention, like this one, showing the document type, title, version, and date. Where will you store your data? Your answer to this might depend on the security level of your data. You can see the main security levels used by the university on this slide. Level 0. Unclassified or public information. Unclassified or public information is anything that is already in the public domain. Level 1. Cambridge only. This covers information that is only available to students and staff within the University of Cambridge, such as meeting minutes and site license software. Level 2. Confidential information. This covers general personal information or any other information designated as confidential. Level 3. Personal and strictly confidential information. This covers documents that contain highly sensitive information or personal details. Never share these on a cloud storage server. Most university services can deal with data up to level 2. If you're not sure what level your data comes under, speak to your supervisor or your research colleagues. The university offers cloud storage options including Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive and SharePoint. These are supported by UIS, the University IT Services, and so they are more secure than personal cloud storage accounts. Other storage options may include external hard drives, other cloud storage accounts, GitHub repositories or the University Data Repository, as well as physical filing cabinets for paper notes or lab samples. However you choose to store your data, you should make sure that it's secure and that it meets any funder or partner requirements. Remember to back up regularly in at least two separate locations. Before you start storing your data, it's worth taking some time to think and plan where you're going to do this and what your backup schedule is going to be. If you're working with a research group or you need your supervisor or PI to be able to access your data, make sure that you store it somewhere everyone who needs it can access it. The University of Cambridge has a policy that university staff and students 
or to make their research data underpinning published research findings as widely available as possible. Many funders have requirements to make research data available. For instance, the EPSRC require all publications to include a statement describing how to access the data, while the Wellcome Trust require funded projects to share data as open access. If you need to keep your data restricted, for instance due to sensitive data or a non-disclosure agreement, you will need to think about this in advance, and perhaps prepare a data statement to justify this. The best way to ensure that you're addressing all the issues you need to think about with managing your data is by creating a data management plan. This is a document that you write before you begin data collection, and which you can update as your research develops. It helps you think through questions like, what types of data are you working with? What is your strategy for organising, storing, backing up and sharing your data? And who has responsibility for your data? The website DMP Online is an online tool for creating and sharing a specific and personalised data management plan. To begin writing your own DMP, visit dmponline.dcc.ac.uk and sign in. It's okay if you don't have answers to each of the questions the DMP will ask you just yet, but they should prompt you to think about what you need to find out about and plan for. For more information about data management, data policies and support for creating a data management plan, see the University of Cambridge Research Data Management website at data.cam.ac.uk. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to think about how you're planning to organise your data, where you will store it and how you can share it. And do this before you start collecting data to save yourself difficulties later on. Creating a data management plan is the best way to make sure you can manage your research data over the course of your project. If you have any questions, please email us at library at eng.cam.ac.uk.